Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel, and it is the video that I've been promising you guys that has been coming, and it just got delivered to my door. Originally, I said that I was not going to bring it inside the house just because of superstitious reasons, or just because I don't want to be haunted for any reason at all, if I don't have to be. Um, I've had many experiences <laughs> with, like, Dybbuk boxes and all that kind of stuff, which I might link a playlist down below for you guys, so definitely check that out. I have not had any, like, supernatural experiences as of late, so I'm really hoping that with... This right here, I am not going to start getting anything like that because I went on eBay and I bought a haunted eBay mystery box, which is supposed to be basically every item in the box is going to have belonged to some dead person at some time or the other. I paid $30 for the box and I have to say it just kind of sounds like there's like one thing in this box and they did draw like a cool like little spider web and a spider on here. So hopefully it's not a spider because that would give me like the heebie-jeebies forever like who says the heebie-jeebies right so as you know i have <laughs> these gloves that i'm just still going through and i actually went on amazon and i was like i want to get some like cool ones like different colors something so maybe like different moods for the mystery box this one is apparently like not even trying to get on my hand right now so we are just going to wow it's like find the hole find the hole <laughs> hashtag bottom don't know where it is so Therefore, I'm going to put these on as per usual, and we are going to open this box and hope that my house does not become a haven for demons, anything possessed. I can't get this glove on either. Like, what is going on today? So, I do have, like, some of my keys right here, which, by the way, I was going to save this for, like, a Golden Girls type of unboxing video, because I am collecting everything Golden Girls. I love the Golden Girls, and here are the Shady Pines keychain right here, which is not focusing at all but i am going to be doing that as i said also in my last video i stated well the past few unboxing videos of these mystery boxes i said that i'm going to send some out so definitely let me know in the comments if you want to receive one but i also have my po box underneath this video if you guys want to send me one which you guys do not have to of course but i did get comments asking for people and emails for that matter asking if you could send me one and have me unbox it to give you guys like a shout out and then like direct people to your ebay store that's totally fine and it's totally something i will do so just let me know if you're sending one and we will discuss that kind of thing. So I am going to just, oh, please Jesus, please Jesus, please Jesus. You ever like just find yourself praying at random times? Apparently that's not a good key to bust into a box. Also, I have my little lucky pig on here. I'll go into a detail about that in another video about why I have a pig. So, the box kind of stinks. Okay, inside the box we have Inside the box, it looks like this, and there's a little note on top of it, which I'm going to read for you guys. It says, warning, do not try to summon spirits while in possession of the deceased material belongings. Proceed with caution. That makes me feel fucking great about this. I feel fucking so much more stoked than before, you guys. It is just wrapped in some white paper. And, uh, please don't be here. Is that a hair? No, I was like, please. Oh, there's another note. Oh my god, you guys, it's so creepy. Hold on, let me see if I can show you this without, I really don't want to, please don't be hair, please don't tell me that's hair. Okay, so here is the inside contents of the box before I even take them out. As you can see, it is very, like, old looking. The first thing that I am pulling out is, oh. <gasps> oh my god, it's photos. You guys, there are photos in here. Okay. Okay. Oh, do you ever, like, touch something that you just, like, you don't know if it's haunted or not, but you're kind of, like, you're creeped out anyways because it could, it could be. Okay, so, we are now opening this. I don't want to bend your picture. Sorry, whoever you were. <laughs> this is the first photo. It says Lillian. Oh, my God, what if I don't say their name? It says their name. <laughs> it says February 6th, 1894 to November 21st, 1912. Here are the pictures. Wow. That's really cool. I love older photos. This one is of, I'm not going to say his name again, January 22nd, 1883 to August 11th, 1913. That's a cool photo. This one is, I can't make out what this, oh, wait a minute now. What is going on in this photo? Oh, wait, there's like a, I don't know what happened in the, like, middle, can you guys see the middle of the photo? Come on, focus. Do you guys see like right, like right where my finger is, like right above it? 
it's like darker. I don't know what that's about, but there's a man and there's a woman sitting here. I'm gonna take pictures of these and put these on my Twitter so you guys can see what I'm looking at. The link will be down below for the tweet. Um, and then on the back of it, there is a long, from December 7th, 1912, it's, there's like a long, it's like a postcard. You can see on the back of it, it's written. I can't really tell what it says, to be completely honest, but the stamp, I don't know. Is it, do you guys think it's real? Because it's not, there's no postage on it or anything like that. So maybe it was just like sent in a letter. I'm not sure. I actually had a letter in my hand just a second ago. So that one's definitely creepy. This right here, which they typed some things out for me to read. It says, oh, it's the postcard transcript. So here we go. Postcard transcript, Harrison Arc, December 7th, 1912. Dear Sister Katie, I will try and answer you letter we received some time ago. We glad to hear you were some better. Yes, that... No. <laughs> no. No. Yes, that murder was close to us. It was awful. I was surprised to hear about Bill and also Iva. That was awful. Oh my god, no. This is like creeping me out to read it. Ma said you kids shouldn't send anything for exes and she wouldn't either. How is Leo and Lucille? Answer soon. XXX. I sent this picture a site. We had it taken for... That boy works here now. Ide is our neighbor boy. Love to all. That's kind of creepy. I probably, I don't know if I should have read that or not. Like, maybe there's, like, some kind of, like, way these things are, like, trapped in this box. Um, is this hair? Please don't be fucking hair. Please don't be hair. Oh, my God. Is it hair? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is this hair? You guys, can you tell? You just can't probably see it. Is that, oh my god, is that hair? No, 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 is it hair? I don't want to touch it, take it out. What do you guys think, is this hair or is this like some kind of string? Let me know down in the comments for sure because this is like the makings of a Dimmick box. If I pull out a fucking tooth, if I pull out a fucking tooth, you guys, this is, I don't know what this is. You can kind of see through it. I wish I had my light behind me. Maybe I can do this. You go like this, that you guys can see. Yeah, so you can kind of like tell that you can see through it. What do you guys think that is? I don't, I don't know what that is. That's like a grape? <laughs> it's like, is it a bead? Oh, it has a hole in it, it's a bead, it's a bead. So there's a bead in here. There is, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Come on, focus, focus, focus. My focus is like moving across my screen for some reason. This has like little itty bitty dots all over it. It kind of looks like a shell, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. So, the next thing is a pin or button type of thing. It looks like a button. As you can see, it's a button. I'm not taking any of these out to touch them just because I really like this is like the making of a Dimmick box. Obviously, it's not in here because you have to do certain things for a Dimmick box, but. Oh, girl, what is this? Wait a minute, what is this? There is some kind of fluid in this container. Can you tell that there, what? <laughs> oh my God, go. No. Oh my God. Just looking at it made me like, what is that? I'm not even, what? Oh my God, I don't know what that is, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I guess they just have it. And we have an old spoon. Like an older spoon right here. So, that is what that looks like. My hands are sweating in these gloves. I don't know why that is. And then there is a final thing. What is this? Wait a minute. There are like, this is like this front and back paper in here. Talking from the Springsdale News, November 29th, 1912. Lead Hill, Arkansas, November 22nd. Dragged from her pony, ravished and butchered like the victim of the most vicious cannibal was the fate of 18-year-old, <laughs> blah, 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 of Pleasant Ridge. Okay, so I'm going to put the info of this on my Twitter that you guys can go look at. Um, I don't know. Here is, like, her full name and everything right here. If you guys want to look this up, apparently it was... Definitely something a cannibal did. Um, 
Oh my god, is this just freaking me out because I do like think it's haunted? Like, is this like a fake like story type of thing and I'm like totally being a giant like... You guys know what on here? I just like burped. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. But, this is definitely creepy you guys. I don't want to read this just because I, <laughs> as I said, previous things with Dybbuk boxes and all of that nature. I will leave all the information down on my Twitter which I'm going to link below. Um, yeah, and that's everything in this box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that nothing weird happens here now. I'm definitely someone that believes in the spirits and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is going to go into the trash after I take a picture of it. So definitely check out the Twitter for that. And again, my PO box is down below. If you want to receive a box from me, let me know in the comments. You can also email me. My email is down below. It's nicksnyder at gmail.com. And this paper is going in front of the screen. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.